Hi everyone, once again, this is Sir O, your teacher in this session. So if you are still new to my channel, I will really appreciate if you can click that subscribe button and please click that notification bell for you to be updated with my next session. So in this session, we are going to talk about direct variation. In particular, we will express statements by means of equations uh, where k is the constant of variations. Another one, we are going to solve for the constant of variations and we are going to solve problems involving direct variations. All right, so if you have a statement, say m varies directly as n. We have m is directly proportional to n. And M is proportional to N. So if you meet this kind of statements in a direct variation, this could be translated into M is equal to KN. If you notice, M varies directly as N. So if M increases, N also increases. If M decreases, N will also decrease. So where K here is our constant of variation. So for us to appreciate this one, let us first express statements. Uh, let us express the following by means of an equation where k is the constant of variations. Sample number one, let's say the heat each required to melt a certain substance varies directly with its mass m. So if you notice the heat each is varies directly with its mass m. So that's how simple it is to express a particular statement in variation when it is varies direct. Another example, let us say, the volume B of a gas varies directly as the temperature T. If you notice, the volume B of a gas varies directly as the temperature T. All right? So question number three, let us say, the distance D in meters through which a body falls from rest varies as the square of time T in seconds. So the distance D through which a body falls from rest varies as the square of time T. So square of time T, so that is T squared. Why T to the power of 2? Because of the word square. So you have to be careful. Uh, sometimes the problems involving direct variation, there's the word there, square. So let's have now an example problems. We are asked to solve following problems involving direct variations. Example number one, let us say if y varies directly as x and y equals 28 when x is 7, find y when x is equal to 11. So let us analyze this problem very carefully. So if you notice, there is actually a statement here, y varies directly as x. So y varies directly, so that is y is equal to kx. And we are also given that y is equal to 28 when x is 7. So we only have to replace our expressed equation from our statements. So replacing y with 28 and x is 7. So we are looking for the constant of variation, which is k. 7 times k is, of course, 7k. And dividing both sides of this by 7, we have k is equal to 4. So therefore, the constant of variation is 4. We are not yet done because we are also asked in this problem, find y when x is 11. So we will make use of the given or I mean the expressed equations from our statements as given, which is y equals kx. And this time, our k is already 4, which is the constant of variations. So we are asked to find y, so we replace x by 11 and we replace k by 4. So we have 4 times 11, our k is 4, right? So 4 times 11, our y is equal to 44. And therefore, this is the value that we are looking for in this problem. So if you have some questions, I will be happy to answer them. Of course, just write it in the comment section. Question number two. If m varies directly as the square of n, and m is 48 when n is 4, find m when n is equal to 5. Okay. Now, we will analyze carefully. If you notice in this uh, problem, it's given from the statements that m varies directly as the square of n. So as I said a while ago, be careful with the word square. Okay? So m varies directly, so that is m is equal to kn squared as the square of n. Okay? And m is 48 when n is 4. So just substitute that one. We have 48 is equal to k. So we are still looking for the constant of variation. Our n is 4 raised to the power of 2. So 4 raised to the power of 2, of course, that is 4 times 4, that is 16. So we have k times 16, right? And 16 times k is, of course, 16k. 
and dividing both sides of the equation by 16, we have k equals 3. So our constant of variation is 3. Now we are also asked to find m when n is 5. So we have m is equal to kn squared. We are asked to find m, so replace k, which is the constant of variation, which is 3. And our n is equal to 5. So that's 3 times 5 raised to the power of 2. So 5 raised to the power of 2 is, of course, 25. And 3 times 25 is 75. So what we are looking for is m, which is equal to 75. So question number 3. Question number 3 is also our last example. So let us analyze this very carefully. So if you notice, we, have, we are given here the baking powder varies directly with the flour used. So we will set baking powder as B and our flour as F. So K is our constant of variation. So we are given that if two cups of flour will need four teaspoonfuls of baking powder, so we'll just substitute that one, two cups of flour. Okay, so our baking powder is four teaspoonfuls and our flour is two cups. And two times K is of course two K and dividing both sides by two, we have K is equal to two. So the constant of variation in this problem is two. And we are also asked how much flour would require 10 teaspoonfuls of baking powder. So we'll make use of the same uh, equation. We have B is equal to KF. So how much flour is needed with 10 teaspoonfuls of baking powder? We have 10 is equal to 2, 2F because the constant of variation is 2. And we are looking for how much flour is needed. Then our baking powder is 10. So dividing both sides by 2, we have flour is equal to 5. So in other words, we will be needing 5 cups of flour that would require 10 teaspoonfuls of baking powder. So guys, if you think our video tutorial today helps you a lot, please give a thumbs up and kindly share this to others. I will really appreciate that one to your classmates, your schoolmates, or to anybody who is in need of this video tutorial. For them also to learn just like what you did in this session. What you are looking right now is actually my two video tutorials. I will also appreciate that one if you can watch them. And of course, if you have not subscribed to my channel, I will really appreciate it as well. If you can subscribe and kindly click that notification bell for you to be updated with my next session. Thank you so much.